Hi, everyone. It's Ms. Glennie at the Chilton Public Library at the East Shore Humane Society, and I'm here with Czar. We have Czar here today, and down here we have Baron, who's kind of snugged up in his little house. He might come out, but he might not. And then we also have Nabisco is cozied up back there, too. And these three kitties are adult kitties, and they're all available. If they're all looking for new homes. They're all available for adoption. Now, Czar is a 20-pound cat. He's sort of a nice, substantial, cozy, black, wonderful creature. And Nabisco, I don't have Nabisco's weight here. It's up there, I think. But um, Czar is a pretty impressive cat. He is. And we always, on Thursdays at 1, read a story with the animals so that you can see the kitties and we can have a story. And while I'm in the cat room, I have a dog book. And in one of the, I have two bog dog books today, and they're all, um, they all rhyme. So there's some rhyming involved and they all have things about lots of people, creatures piling into one thing. So we'll see what happens. This one's called A One Dog Canoe by Mary Casanova. Pictures by Ard Hoyt. And it's read with permission from Mick, from Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux, Macmillan Publishers. So let's see. Let's see where we start here. Now, I'm going to come down like this so you can still maybe see the kitties in the back. I set off one morning in my little red canoe. My dog wagged his tail. Can I come too? You bet, I said. A trip for two. Just me and you. So there they go, off in their red canoe. But who do they meet? I dipped my paddle into ribbons of blue. Beaver stopped chewing. Can I come too? There's not much room. It's a one-dog canoe. But with a slap and a swim, Beaver scrambled in. So now there's how many in the canoe? Uh-huh. Not for long. I swished past ferns where dragonflies flew. Loon stretched her wings. Can I come too? I doubt you'll fit. It's a one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a whoo hoo flap, Loon landed on my lap. Imagine. Silently we glided under silver webs of dew. Wolf peered from the pines. Can I come too? Maybe next time. It's a one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But like an arrow on the wind, Wolf bounded in. Still I paddled on in my little red canoe. Bear slid down a tree. Could I come too? We're pretty darn full. It's a one wolf, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. <clears throat> but with a grunt thump kawump, Bear dropped on his rump. Splish. Are they all going to land in the canoe or out of the canoe? What do you think? Let's find out. <gasps> I J-stroked and C-stroked. What else could I do? Moose lifted his head. Can I come too? I think Baron wants, oh, there goes Baron. We'll check in with him in a minute. You'll do us all in. It's a one bear, one wolf, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe bear. But with a toss of his rack, Moose climbed in the back, the moose did. Oh. They're all looking kind of crowded. I think they look a little crowded. We teetered and tottered. I glared at my crew. Frog hopped to a rock. Can I come too? Rub it, rub it. Frog, can't you see? It's a one moose, one bear, one wolf, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a leap, plop, swoosh a bang, flop. Uh-oh. This might be it. We sputtered, splashed, swam, drip dried on the sand. Sorry, Beaver said. We should have listened to you. Guess you were right. It is a one dog canoe. I started to grin. It's okay. We had a good swim. Then together we bailed till my vessel was dry. And with a push a swoosh glide, we waved goodbye. I set off that evening as the northern lights grew, just me and my pal in a one-dog canoe. 
And that's the one dog canoe. And let's see. Baron has jumped down and is now going visiting over here. And um, Nabisco is taking a potty break. That would be over here. Um, maybe we'll give Nabisco a little privacy. But um, yes, remember there's three of them in here today. And there are more kitty cats coming. I think today she said there were going to be 10 kitty cats surrendered from another um, shelter. So there'll be more cats coming. And there are dogs for adoption, too. And since there are dogs for adoption, too, let's look at Move Over Rover, shall we? Which is read with permission from Houghton Mifflin. Move Over Rover. Do you have a dog? As I sit here reading dog stories, but I think there's a cat in this story in the cat room. We'll see. Oh, there's a dog in his dog house. Is this where it starts? It starts over here. Oh, it starts here. Rover's in the dog house chewing on a bone. What a day to romp and play. Too bad he's all alone. <laughs> Oh my, look at the sky, thunder, lightning, mighty frightening. Rain is pouring. Oh, how boring. Rover's in the doghouse, sleeping through the storm. Cat is looking all around to find a place that's warm. Move over, Rover. Meow. Meow. Cat's in the doghouse, sleeping through the storm. Raccoon is looking all around to find a place that's warm. Skit scat, cat. Move over, Rover. Are you going to make room? Are you going to make room? Raccoon's in the doghouse, sleeping through the storm. Squirrel's looking all around to find a place that's warm. Make room, raccoon. Skit scat, cat. Move over, Rover. <coughs> it's getting to be a crowded doghouse. Squirrels in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Blue Jays looking all around to find a place that's warm. Squeeze in, squirrel. Make room, raccoon. Skit, scat, scat. Move over, rover. Will they find a place for Jay? Let's see. Blue Jays in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Snake is looking all around to find a place that's warm. There he is down here. Out of the way, Blue Jay. Squeeze in, squirrel. Make room, raccoon. Skit, scat, cat. Move over, rover. And Slithery the snake goes sliding in. Snakes in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. Mouse is looking all around to find a place that's warm. There's little mouse. Slide aside, snake. Out of the way, blue jay. Squeeze in, squirrel. Make room, raccoon. Skit, scat, cat. Move over, rover. Tight fit, might split. Sorry, mouse, full house. Oh, doesn't that look cozy? I think that looks cozy. Crowded in the doghouse, all are sleeping well. But then they catch a whiff. What's that awful smell? Can you think of an animal that smells really bad? Oh, well, right now, that kitty cat is making a pretty big smell. There's already a cat in there. Let's see. Skitter, scatter, what's the matter? Scamper, scurry, what's the hurry? All the animals are running away. It might be hard to see, but they're all running away in different directions as fast as they can because, yes, skunks in the doghouse sleeping through the storm. The rest are racing round to find another place that's warm. Oh my, look at the sky, storm's over. Where's Rover? Where'd he go? Romping, racing, jumping, chasing? No. Rover's in the doghouse, chewing on a bone. Soaked and sopping, tail flip flopping. Happy he's alone. He gets his own doghouse back. Well, everybody else can go play. And that's our move over rover. Let's see where the kitty cats went. Hmm. Well, Nabisco has decided to nest in the 
Nibisco's nesting in the toilet, the kitty toilet. Should we take a little meander? Here's Nabisco. There's Nabisco. Hey, Nabisco. How are you today? And here's Baron has gone in here. Where'd you go, Baron? There's Baron. Kitty, 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 kitty. Here comes Baron. Kitty, 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 kitty. Nice. Want to come say hi? And then the other kitty is not wanting to come out. He's sleeping. But I forgot to mention that both Baron and Czar have been living together in the same household for many years. So they know each other very well. Here's Baron. Hey, Baron. There he goes. There goes Baron. He's exploring. This is a fun place to explore. So let's say one last, say, see you next week, maybe, Baron. We'll see. And let's say one last goodbye to Nabisco, who is very alert right now. So thank you so much for tuning in to the Chilton Public Library, East Shore Humane Society, Thursday, 1 p.m., Read to the Animals. It's always a pleasure. And uh, we'll see you again here next week, shall we? I hope you get out and enjoy this wonderful sunshine we're having. There I am. Oh, I'm using a different system today, so it's sort of different. So you take care. It's been a pleasure. All the best. Hi, everyone. It's Ms. Glennie at the East Shore Humane Society. And I'm here to read stories with the cats. We have Nabisco right here. Let's see. It's, can I get... There's Nabisco. There's Nabisco. He's having a moment. He's been there for quite some time, actually. He's decided to nest in his nesting box, also known as the bathroom, his kitty litter box. And then we have Baron over here. Where'd Baron go? Kitty, 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 kitty. Baron's hiding. We'll, we'll, we'll check back in with Baron in a minute. Oh, oh, I think I see him. Let's go. I think Baron's over here. There's Baron. Hmm. I'll maybe see.